15,000 car dealerships in North America revert to pens and paper after cyber attacks happened on their software. Now, that must have been hard for all those young punks working in the car business, huh, Liz? Oh, that's no joke, Kevin. I can just imagine what that morning sales meeting probably looked like. A lot of eyebrows in the air, maybe a little bit of whining, but the older salespeople, they probably just laughed. So, here's what happened. Car dealerships across North America are still grappling with major disruptions that began last week when cyber attacks targeted CDK Global, a key software provider in the auto retail sales sector. The attacks have crippled operations, forcing many dealerships to resort to old school methods. When I say old school, think pens, paper, and sticky notes. Ooh. Comment below if you were at a dealership and were told they couldn't sell you a car because their computer systems were down. Or you had to do it with a pen and paper contract. We'd love to hear from our viewers firsthand. So what exactly happened? CDK Global, based just outside Chicago, serves over 15,000 dealerships in the U.S. and Canada. In the U.S., we have about 60,000 dealerships. Last Wednesday, CDK was hit by back-to-back cyber attacks, prompting a shutdown of most of its systems. This move was taken out of an abundance of caution, according to CDK's spokesperson, Lisa Finney. The disruption has continued, affecting everything from vehicle sales to customer service, with no immediate end in sight. On Monday, Group 1 Automotive Inc., a major player with $4 billion in annual sales, announced it's using alternative processes to keep <laughs> selling cars. Lithia Motors and AutoNation have also implemented workarounds to keep their operations afloat. CDK Global is a giant in the auto sales software industry, helping dealers manage everything from vehicle sales to financing, insurance, and repairs. Their software is crucial for the day-to-day operations of many dealerships. The attacks began Wednesday evening and CDK initially shut down all systems to prevent further damage. Ouch. Yeah. They resumed some operations briefly but had to shut down again after a second attack. CDK is working with third-party experts and law enforcement to investigate the incident, expecting the restoration process to take several days. Double ouch. For sure. Lisa Finney noted that CDK has also warned its customers about bad actors posing as CDK affiliates to gain system access. We've seen this before. Phishing attempts have also been a significant concern. While CDK hasn't confirmed or denied a ransom demand, the incident has all the hallmarks of a ransomware attack. If you haven't heard of this before, ransomware hackers will encrypt someone else's data and demand a ransom for its release. It's not certain, however, if they will release the data. Cliff Steinhauer from the National Cybersecurity Alliance remarked, when you see an attack like this, it almost always ends up being ransomware. So it's likely to assume a lot of Americans have their personal data at dealerships, and these dealerships are trying to figure out how to regain access to it. The bad news is that your data could now be in the hands of some bad actors. Stellantis, Ford, and BMW confirmed last week that the cyber attack affected some of their dealers, but their sales operations continue. Stellantis noted that many dealerships have switched to manual processes like handwritten orders. I like this quote by John Crane of Hawk Automotive Group. He shared, The people have been around longer. You know, guys who have maybe have a little salt in their hair like me. <laughs> we remember how to do it before the computers. It's just a few more steps and a little bit more time. At Hawk Auto Group, dealing with the outage has meant stacks of paperwork piling up, replacing the automated orders that used to process overnight. We're pulling out all our hair. I guess the gray ones. I was going to say what's left of it. (laughs) Yes. Well, but they're still going. Now, Group 1 Automotive has isolated its systems from CDK's platform, while Lithium Motors and AutoNation have activated their cyber incident response procedures. Lithium Motors even severed its business server connections with CDK to protect its systems. If you've never worked in tech, you don't know how messy this is going to be to clean up. AutoNation spokesperson confirmed that while all locations are open, productivity is lower as many operations are handled manually. With details of the cyber attack still murky, customer privacy is a major concern. If you've bought a car from a dealership using CDK software, cybersecurity experts advise assuming your data may have been breached. Wow, this really sucks. Yeah. This could include sensitive information like your social security number, employment history, and financial details. So here's some advice. If you don't already have a credit monitoring service, it may be helpful to get one, even for a few months. If you're super concerned, consider freezing your credit or signing up for identity theft protection. You can also sign up with a place like Lexington Law, for an example. I have personally referred a few family members to this service, and like it says right on their homepage, 
Cross-examine your credit score. When you hire Lexington Law's licensed attorneys and skilled paralegals, you'll have strong advocates on your side. Make your credit reports face a range of powerful consumer protection laws and enforce your rights for your best credit reports and scores. Also, if you are a bit credit challenged, this is a good option to clean up your credit score before applying for a car loan and car shopping. Check it out. And for the record, friends, Lexington Law did not pay us to mention their service. Nope, just trying to help you out. Also, whenever your data has been compromised, be cautious of phishing attempts, meaning that the hackers now have your information and they're trying to contact you, posing as a reputable company like PayPal or AT&T, and they tell you, your bill is overdue, pay now. Verify any communications by checking the company's official website. And you know what I do? I click on the from email and I look at it very carefully to see if the source is actually legitimate. Unfortunately, in this day and age, our data is a valuable target and you have to make sure that you're taking steps to protect it. Perhaps this attack is a good reminder to keep things around you that are low-tech, tried and true, just in case. Hey, Kevin, my parents still have the rotary phone plugged in at their house, just in case. That they do. Well, <laughs> that might be a little extreme, but the sentiment is spot on. Right. Always have a means of taking care of yourself, just in case. Like having some cash at home in case your cards are stolen or your bank account gets frozen. You just never know these days. Well, on the lighter side of things, if you want our direct help, we're here for you. And by the way, we will never ask for any specific credit card related information or personal information like a social security number. We'd love to help our viewers and members get good car deals, and that's it. Consider visiting our website, thehomeworkguy.com, and make even a minimal investment toward the success of your car deal by getting our new book, Buy Smart, Drive Confidently. It's just $12.99. Our viewers and readers are saying that the book helps them organize their thoughts in the car buying process in a way that saves them far more than the 13 bucks to buy it. And then you can also get Elizabeth's direct assistance via the help desk style memberships, $24.99 for direct email help and $49.99 for faster help by text. That includes 30 days of black book values, contract reviews, and generally good car buying advice. If you want to talk directly with me, you can... Ask all your questions during a 45-minute call we have available for just $99. I can talk you through a strategy for you to do this on your own, or we can talk about how you can get hooked up with Stuart in our hassle-free car buying process. Either way, no problem. Stuart is our in-house homework guy style negotiator, and yes, he can do everything for you, and I mean everything. Stuart beats the dealers because he negotiates OTD style, and per month, he does more than three times the volume of car deals that the typical good car salesman does. His experience beats theirs every time on either new or used, and it doesn't matter where you live. Put his experience in your corner and have our team work for you. Let me say one thing about our man, Stuart. He does everything for you for $1,050. For service members and veterans, it's 200 bucks off or just 850 Yes. All you have to do is test drive and sign the papers. We've had reports from viewers about how the car buying concierge service works with a competing YouTube creator. His assessment was that they don't do everything for you. He was simply referred to a preferred dealer in their network. That doesn't guarantee that you won't get ripped off, and it certainly doesn't guarantee that it won't still take you tons of time to get the deal done. We learned this after landing his second car deal of the year, right after he had used their service. Our members who have used our hassle-free car buying service say that with Stewart's help, it was the easiest route they've ever gone to buy a car, and that's the way we intend to keep it. We did notice that the competing concierge service used to be priced at 1500 bucks, but now that we're offering the only truly hassle-free car buying service for 1050 the other guys dropped theirs to 999 that's funny to me that they are attempting to copy us by also referring to their process as hassle-free. Mm -hmm. And that's funny to me because we are actually doing it. For the extra 50 bucks, you also get to talk directly to me and you save a ton more time. You'll never get to talk to those other two guys no matter what you pay. We get you in the process quickly after a brief phone interview and we are much faster and much better at this than anyone out there, period. Also, if you never want to miss an upcoming show, while you're visiting on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, sign up for show notifications directly from us by clicking on the yellow button for content notifications. I send out a reminder email for all new shows, which you can check out for yourself and also forward to family and friends. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. And to our longtime followers, you guys rock. I'm Kevin Hunter, The Homework Guy, signing off on behalf of the amazing Elizabeth and The Homework Guy team. God bless you all. Thanks for listening.